Hi, my name is Shane Ribeiro, one of the senior electrical designers here at ASEI. Today I'll be showing you how to create enlarged electrical rooms. This is a new requirement requested by our PEs, Chris Sarimento and Scott Allred, to make sure that our service entrance section, or SCS, panels, transformers, and any other equipment placed inside the electrical room all fit and have the working clearances needed for the National Electrical Code, or NEC. All right, getting your SCS layout. Um, what you want to do is you want to open your single line sheet. For me, it's my E4.1 on this project. And what you're going to do is create a PDF and you're going to send it to Rick Pinchard at Siemens. His info will be over my right hand shoulder. And um, what he's going to do is he may come back and email you with a couple of questions uh, just to get the final information he needs. And what's gonna happen is he'll email you a CAD file of your SCS, which will look like this drawing here. Um, usually his turnaround time is same day, um, 24 hours. Uh, shouldn't be anything more than a day at worst. And what you wanna do, once you get it, this file from him, you wanna take this and copy clip what I'm highlighting here. And then you're gonna go back into your single line sheet and just paste it like I have shown here on the E4.1, our single line sheet. And then our next step will be creating your enlarged electrical room. Okay, now we're gonna create your enlarged room. Um, what we're gonna do first off is we're gonna create a new viewport, so MV, and then you're just gonna create a new viewport down here in the corner or wherever on your plan that you have room for it. You're gonna scroll in a little bit and then you're gonna double click in your viewport. What you're gonna do, you're gonna hit Z for zoom and then you're gonna hit C for center and you're gonna click the center of the room and then you're gonna type in one backslash 48 XP and this is going to bring it to quarter scale. And then once you do that, kind of center it in your viewport there. And now you can go zoom out, extents, and we're going to hit your model tab and we're going to go into model space now. Um, what I've already done is created a enlarged plan to kind of show you everything of what's here. Um, so I think this next step, we will uh, step into placing our equipment and showing our clearance rooms. Okay, drawing your electrical room. What you're gonna do first off is you're gonna either copy clip or look at the dimensions that Rick provided you on the drawing and you're gonna take that and you're gonna draw your SCS, just like I have shown here. And then you're also gonna show the section where the pull section is of the service. Um, this is all gonna be on the E-Equip layer, um, just as shown up here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw the clear space. So for 208 volt, you got a three foot working clear space in front. For 480, you're gonna have four feet. In front. This is drawn on the same layer, E-Equip, but what I've done is I've hard changed it to color 8 so it's not so bold so that if you have multiple things overlapping it doesn't get very confusing it kind of keeps your your drawing a little bit clearer. So once you have that drawn in, um, go over here and what we want to do is make sure that this pull section is centered in the door. Uh, this is a SRP requirement that we've adopted as a company. Uh, and this just helps them be able to back their truck up and pull the wire for the service in from the transformer. So we wanna clearly mark that with an arrow center of pull section, just how I have shown here. And then basically that's it for your SES. Um, now we come into panels, bringing your panels in. If you have one or two, for this one I've just shown two. And basically, 
what you have is a working clear space of 30 inches wide by 36 inches deep. And what I have done is I've shown that the clear spaces can be shared between panels and the SCS. Um, there's nothing wrong with that, just as long as the person working on the panel has no interference there in that space. Um, that's, that's good. Um, if you have a transformer, which we can drag and bring that guy in, um, bring that over here, and we're just going to move this panel over a little bit and see if we can. So pull that over, bring your transformer up and probably move this panel over just a little bit so we still have plenty of room and you just need to make sure that you have uh, nothing is in front of the transformer that it has a clear clear path in front of it like we have here and it can protrude a little bit into those clearance spaces as long as it's not in front of any of the panels and that's it for a electrical room um, we have all the clearances are met there's nothing protruding into it um, the next thing we'll get well, I'll show you real quick is a electrical room that doesn't work with clearances where stuff is protruding into um, the system so what I did I just kind of created a quick one um, what we have here is kind of the same layout but I've moved the panel slightly in front of the SCS here. So with this right here, that does not work. Um, it's got to be outside of that clear space or the side of the SCS. So you would need to move this to where the panel does not protrude in front of or to the side of that service. So we'll take that and we'll just line it up. Now it works. So just remember, we can't have a panel like here because that's not enough clear space because that service is protruding into its clear space. Um, but again, as long as the clear spaces can share one another, you're fine with that. And that is it for electrical rooms, clear spaces. Final notes. One, if you're not familiar with the local utility requirements for electrical rooms, you're going to find the SRP and APS design manuals in the J drive in their electrical folder. Two, all your clearance info can be found in the NEC article 11026. I referenced clear working space previously, but remember that also includes space below and above the panel as well. See exhibit 110.25 and 110.26 on the screen for a quick reference. Three, if you're not sure of something, always consult with a senior designer or your engineer. We're always more than happy to lend a hand. Additional documents will be saved with this video.